open my WhatsApp. I said, babe, please read my WhatsApp. Or this is your guy. He said, I, I shouldn't let you know that he's on my WhatsApp. Blah, blah, blah. She, she lit. She lit. Get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. Like damn, she in her mood. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today on my channel, I'm here with a guest and her name is Nelly of Nelly House of Fashion. So today's topic, we are actually going to be talking about myths about um, female friendships. So far, based on your experiences and based on your knowledge, what do you think friendship is all about? Adult friendships. Hmm. To me, I feel like, um, I would say it has to do with um, communication somebody because an adult there are some times whereby you are left alone you need somebody to talk to you you need somebody to guide you so i say adult um, friendship has to do with uh, relationship mentoring advice business and all like, i'll just say the yeah. you know some people usually um think that friendship revolves around the hangouts and the um, continuous um, efforts to reach each other because these days so many friendships fall apart because either one is too busy or the other one is they just have different lifestyles and they're always not like in, co in constant communication and then one person is feeling like she's more of a friend than the other you think it's a problem if if you're too busy to give your friend that attention you guys used to have like you know as you grow like you are good sometimes or you get too busy and it's not like you don't value that friendship anymore but it's just not it's just like life happens and you can't reach out to that person and that person always feels like she's forcing herself on you or he is he's, now it's female friendship because my channel is about females so like she is forcing herself on you or the friendship is not mutual so what do you do in that kind of scenario? How do you manage that kind of friendship? Um, so myself, um, I'm not even in the best position to answer that because I'm not more of a friend, 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 friend person. So most of my friends, my genuine friends, I'll say they are people I met from uh, my secondary school. You know, because I've come to even notice that people, friendship from secondary school, they are more genuine than they want to meet after school and then and then in university because I went to a boarding school. Um, so uh, myself, I have some of my friends who I went to the same secondary school with, they are no longer in Inigo. So the communication, like this December, like we meet up, cheese, laugh, so we talk on the phone often. Even the times we are not talking, like we just send DMs on um, Instagram. You yeah. see something you like, you send to your friend. But when you guys finally meet, is the vibe we, different? Yeah, no, when we meet, the vibe is 10 over 10 because we have to like take pictures, <laughs> do videos. And, you know, it helps in the friendship. Like everybody is maintaining the same cool space. Yeah. But in a, in a relationship whereby, guys, I'm talking about friendship, in a relationship whereby the person is too... Call, like best is calling me a lot, too choky. I feel like you're kind of disturbing me, and I feel like, and I don't really like to say so much because I mean, like in every friendship, there's a personal life. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like if somebody is too close to me, uh, I have to start telling person my personal life. Like, yeah. And then yeah. I sometimes yeah. I, I probably may not feel very very good and very very comfortable with it. So I just like uh, uh, with the friendship, I just tell you on the very very like tell you just on the top, on the top, on the top till I'm really really certain about it you know, you know when you but you know you know, usually when you're growing up because of um you people are more of less busy than yes, 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 being. Yes, so yes, already, some friendships this, the, your friend let me say your opposite your opposite like the other friend is already used to a particular style of communication like people are always calling like people always talking like as if you are dating like that kind of closure and then all of a sudden you get so busy that you cannot keep and maintain that kind of energy so most times like, no no i don't i don't think like, like so when when it's that way it's when one person is working yeah. and the other person is not working you can have or whereby like, or whereby yes or whereby one person is working and maybe has a federal government job yeah, right. no working from home sometimes like you have to be very very busy like when you have to do your system and stuff depending on kind of job you're doing so like maybe i have a friend who works uh, with the federal government yeah so so she doesn't go to work all the time so she's very very free free yeah. so like i feel like if you're my friend you have to understand my kind of job yeah i've had a friend who she's trying to like let's be close and stuff but whenever she comes here 
she ends up walking. <laughs> she's not losing something for me, or she's helping me put needle and stuff. Do you understand? And then I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she's like, she understands. But whenever she comes, people are here and all that. So for the friendship to maintain it, maybe weekends. Hey, what's up? What's what's going on? Then they're like, okay, let's meet, let's hang out here. We do videos, laugh, and you know, reduce the blood pressure. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything that your previous friendships have taught you? Any lessons that they've taught you, or any things that you've grown out from that you no longer do now when it comes to friendships? So, so when it comes to friendship, um, I'll say high expectation. When you're expecting so much from the person you call your friend, yeah. um, for the aspect of shady, I've actually not had. I mean, I feel friendship is just vibe. We just vibe, dance, laugh, drink. And don't maybe don't really call me the next. I like to stay on my own. Like, I'll just say so far, the only thing I learned is uh, from friendship back in the days and now is that uh, I really don't want if I'm in a relationship, I don't really want my friends to be friends to me. Oh my god. And there was a time uh, my friend's boyfriend chatted me and said, I don't even know how he got my number. I really don't know. So he chatted me and like, oh please, like, he just wants to, you know, have me on WhatsApp yeah. and um, he wouldn't want my friend to know. Yeah. And this person is not even in the country. Yeah. So and I said, okay, no problem. So we don't talk. He's just been there. And I think he's on private, so I don't even know when he views my status. Yeah. Okay, so what happened was that my friend and I went for an evening church service. Yeah. And then I didn't know that he told her not to go for evening service, that he doesn't like all those evening church service. Yeah. So what now happened was he watched my status and saw her because I posted her and I posted both of us as we went to the church, yeah? So I think the next day she came to my office like that this guy got to know that she went to church and then she's she's shouting and stuff. She's like she did not post it. And obviously he's not a wizard. Yeah. She did not post it and then definitely it's like, no, no, tell me something I don't know. I just opened my WhatsApp. I said, please read my WhatsApp. Please read your guys. Please read your guys. I shouldn't let you know that he's on my WhatsApp app, but I don't even know how he got my number. But because we don't have anything, I just felt like, okay, let him just be there. And he told me not to tell her. Yeah. So she's like, no matter what, I'm supposed to have told her. You know? I didn't, um, I didn't see it as a big deal at that time. Yeah. But I mean, like, she's, I'm supposed to have told her, like, protected her because she's my friend than yeah. him. Yeah. You know, you know. So, uh, myths about friendships that people believe in. And people write by it. They call it also guy and um, girl code. The way they have guy code. Some people call those kind of myths like girl code, like she don't do this, she don't do that. Like what other kind of what what type of myth you think that is a cliche? Like it's not it's not really relevant. People just blow it. Like you don't think it's a problem necessary. Hmm. This question. I have to think. Mm, okay, so I would say that, that for example, if um friendship they tell you or oh, if I'm doing business, not the same business as uh, my friend is doing. Okay. I believe that one. Because because like I told you earlier, friendship is partnership. Yeah. I have a friend, she's 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 doing okay, like I'm I'm, I'm under the tailoring aspect of fashion. Yeah. She's under the boutique aspect of fashion. I'll call that one the contemporary fashion like you know like easy wear and all that yeah. now let's say for example we go out and there's someone like oh what do you do i'm like i'm into tailoring what do you do i'm into contemporary ways she can give me clients i can give her clients yeah but if we're in if we're in the same business and we're outside in the same space um so there's this competition me i'm trying to get this person as a client she's trying to get this person yeah so it won't just work not be held yeah it won't be held so like we, we can't even be in the same good space except we are doing the business under one umbrella in the sense that we have one name one business yeah. name and both of us we are doing it especially in the same area like she just got inspired by what you do and then she stays in the group and she stays in the same no i don't have, I don't have an issue with that are you okay with your 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 guy How about you? you know there's some there's some time or there's some situation there but the person you're in a relationship with just happens to have mutual friendships with your friends. Are you okay with them getting too close? Because now you can't have a message. Let me put some Okay, so I have a friend. Did you get what I'm saying about 
Yeah, but don't be like too close. Cool. Sometimes you cannot avoid it because before you even say anything, they are all mutual friends. Now you can't this, now we close our relationship. So your friends don't see it, you use it. So no, no, I can't have a friend that. Okay, so like for. So for my, you know, for my. Is this situation? So for my guy to be friends with my friend before we became an item, it means they were actually friends. Yeah, you know, so I can't, I can't really have a friend that I can't really, 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 really trust. <laughs> I can't really, really, really trust in quotes. Yeah. Some of my friends, I have their husband's phone number. Yeah. We don't even talk, they are just on my WhatsApp. Yeah. And then when you now see the three of, you know, eh, if, let's say, you're my friend, I'm here, and then my husband is here. And the way, and I see the way you're friends with my husband, you guys talk and all that. I can detect if this friendship is just... Casual. Uh, not casual or if this friendship is like well, comes to the way, you know. <laughs> so but there are some friends that you know that this person is now this person is talking so well. What if you have a friend that is naturally not just your husband, so every male around her, she's very flexible. Really get uncomfortable. I'll get uncomfortable. <laughs> Somebody has to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, so, and I'll just disappear from that, my friend. I'll just do you. What do you think about the situation where you plan to hang out and then based on your capability, you can afford a, a restaurant like a five star like luxurious or a hair and you already know the prices of foods and stuff there because you already they all frequent, you frequent there often mm-hmm. and then your friend is new to you, she just wanted you to like show her a new restaurant that she can try out she doesn't want to go to her regular and then she gets there and she does she didn't know that it's that price and then she's so comfortable she might not be exactly broke but affording that amount of stuff at a particular time will actually get her broke and then you have to pay for her and then it pay her own loans and have a second to her end so I, will you understand that you are not in the same financial status or will you just sit as bordering Will you just stop hanging out with her because she cannot afford what she can afford? Or will you lower her standards to afford to go to where she can afford? Or will you just keep on it? Hmm. Okay, so this is because of the questions about life, it's very question. Yeah. Um, so, in a situation like that, if it happens the first time, I could pay. The second time, if she's asking me for a luxurious place, I'll tell her, hey, this place is expensive, can you afford it? If she says no, I say, okay, let's go to an average place you know, to hang out. I don't have a friend that's not working. Mm-hmm. And my friends are working, but then you know, like they say, five fingers are not equal. equal. Yeah. So, and then if she's now the person that likes that exactly, say, oh, okay, so we have to now do this once in a while, once in a while. Yeah. 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 Like so, the definition of average is not a definition of average, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm different from it, like let me say you're earning a million and she's earning in 50,000. 20 years, 30. Your definition of average is definitely going to be different from her own definition of average. Her definition of average might be your definition of low class, like okay. lowest below. So, what would you do in that kind of situation? Just to find out your words. No, she's just going to be my friend. We're just talking. Never hang out. Um, so, we just hang out. So, like, I know I'm a girl. So, I might want to hang out and then. So, we just maybe look for sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> We have come to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it because I loved filming it with you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please keep watching. Let's let this love keep growing. Ten over ten minus nothing.